Hello guys! So if you're watching these videos in quick succession, you may just realize that I'm back in the corruption where I ended my last video. Um, and that was because after I finished my video, I was remembering and I was like, I think I can get a sword um, out of Demonite, a Demonite sword, with just the Demonite that I've collected. Like, I don't think I need the Shadow Scales, because I'm pretty sure that the Shadow Scales are just for the armor and maybe the pickaxe. So since I have a lot of these bombs, I think I'm going to go uh, back up to my world and grab some... Uh, got some gels so I can make sticky bombs so I can like stick it to packs of demonite that are like right there. But first I'm going to grab this shadow orb just because I'm right here and I would like another uh, cool weapon. Oop, I thought I killed something but it was just my finch. So the next one is screams echo all around you, uh, which is the second, I guess, warning phase of the um, of the three point summoning. Also, we found another shadow orb, which is cool. That means we'll have three, um, so we can always defeat the destroyer again. I'm just hoping that there's one more in this area, just so we can um, use it. But I guess if we needed to, we could travel to the other areas. Uh, but yeah, so I got this armored band of star power, which well, it increases my defense by three, so that's actually pretty good. Um, I don't really know what to get rid of, I guess my aglet isn't too helpful, so I'll replace that. And now I have an extra star because it increased by 20%, which is pretty cool. Um, you can see that if I take it off, my star disappears and then goes back on. It's all good. So now I'm actually going to go home and grab some gel. Also, it's understorming. I can put away the scorpion and then I need I'll just take all my gel minus one so I could add it there. Well this music is pretty cool. Okay. Um, now I have this musket. I also should make a house for our gunsmith, but I said a couple episodes ago that I didn't want to keep stacking these up. So I actually think I'm going to figure out um, a new house to build. I might build one in the corruption just because it's kind of cool. Um, but we'll see what happens. So now it's time to mine some demonite, which before I go, I'm actually going to get one of these potions. It's called a slunking potion and it shows the location of treasures and ores, which is quite helpful. I'm gonna get this goldfish as well. Okay, um... Oop, star, nice. I'd like to get full mana. But even though I don't have a mana weapon, just because I like all my stats to be fully cleared out and all. I do know that um, now that we have three NPCs and I have over 200 hearts, I believe the Eye of could start spawning randomly. Uh, I think it has a 30% chance every night, but I think I actually need to have over 10% before it will start spawning. So right now I only have seven, so I should probably get a little bit more defense. Uh, just because I probably want to be in the realm of, of 10 12 maybe when I first start fighting him. So I'm definitely going to try to get enough demonite to start um, fixing up. I think it's a knife edge, which is the demonite sword. But I don't really know how helpful a sword is, because when I tend to defeat Cthulhu, I normally go for like a range attack uh, with bows or even the guns. Um, though the sword is pretty helpful for defeating his like minions, which I think are just the basic uh, eyes, the flying eyes. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Okay, that was smart of me to build that for me, but I probably would have died. I'm actually going to break um, some of these corruption trees. I think it's Evanwood. Um, just because I'm going to start fixing up our second boss arena in the actual corruption just for when we defeat the destroyer and it all will be built. Ooh, that's a cool thing about the axe is that it's kind of just keeping them all at bay. But that guy takes a lot. <laughs> I 
then I should also replant these trees. Ooh. And I really like how the saplings turn in, into the ones we need, like, immediately. Ooh. I do this one. Fine. Okay, nice. Ooh. Stop attacking me. It's quite rude of you guys. Ooh. Oh, I missed. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, broken tentacle spike? I don't think I've seen this before. Oh, it's basically just like a pike, I think. Um, well, it does 13 damage, which is slightly less than my sword. So I guess I'm gonna stay with my sword for now, but it's not bad. One thing I'm also surprised is by the fact that we haven't found that many chests and like, um, just while looking around for loot, is that I don't have a horseshoe. I mean, not a horseshoe. Horseshoes, I think, are from the floating islands. Uh, is that I don't have a magic mirror. Because magic mirrors are quite helpful, but I do have a surplus of, um, recall potions, so it's not too bad. Yeah, so I'm just gonna start collecting some demonite. I'm gonna try to go for the larger pockets, though I guess I could always get the ones that are like right here. Whoops, I knew I was gonna miss. Oh gosh. Okay, um, oop, gosh. These guys do a little bit of knockback, but that's quite annoying, especially when you're trying to get up. So I'm gonna try to find, this seems to be like a good height to start, because I'm gonna do what I did for the other boss arena, and just start building out some platforms. Okay, I'm gonna build it like right here. Just because when you're fighting the destroyer, uh, you never want to be backed into a corner, because he'll do this kind of like constricting motion, like a, like a python or like a snake. Well, I guess Python is a snake, but he'll do this constriction motion and try to like trap you in a small area so you can do larger amounts of damage. So it's better to have a way to- oh, whoops, I did not know I was hitting them with- gosh, with my platforms. Um, so you want a large area to be able to run freely so he can't trap you. Oh gosh, these guys don't quit. I apologize if you guys can hear my mouse clicking. Uh, I'll try to keep that down though. I kind of click ferociously. So I'm not too sure if that would be easy to stop. Gosh, okay, there. So now we have this added buff of the banner. So we get added uh, damage and defense in the falling, which is perfect because as you can see, they're going to keep spawning. There's a nice packet of demon or demonite that I'm gonna try to get. Star hop! Bye! Okay. Um, I should probably turn some of these into sticky bomb just to keep crafting them. Boom! Nice. I guess I'll use one more bomb just because I didn't get that last piece. Nice. Okay. I have to be really careful not to accidentally break another Shadow War because that would summon a boss and I'm not ready to fight. Nice. So here's a nice area that we can run along. And I'm actually going to place a campfire down. Ooh, a cooked campfire. That actually looks kind of cool. I'll put it right here. Ooh, okay, yes. Yeah, so we're adding some uh, mood lighting, I guess, in this game. Oh, another one. See, this is what I mean. We It took us forever to get all of our banners, but um, now that we're actually in the collection, we're going to get a lot of them pretty easily. So I'm waiting to see when my um, banner buff and also the camp bio buff will run out so I can place another one. Okay, so they both ran out, which is perfect because I also ran out of um, platforms. I'm just going to place the banner... Okay, that's so rude of you guys. I am just trying to make your home a little bit more welcoming and well decorated. Gosh. And then here. 
and now I need a campfire. Oh, blowing me. Oh, okay. Well, um, I guess I have to go back up and fight. <laughs> I did not. I did not know that they could spawn now. Um, so I guess this is an interesting thing for a video. Let me. Um. Oh, I don't have recall potions. Well, that's quite disappointing. I must have stacked them away in my chest by accident when I hit. Um. I don't know, is it Lee Stockall? Yeah, it's okay. Luckily, we're not too far away, or else I'd be a little bit more sassy. Oh, have I not been here? Well, okay. Um, can I get back home? Oh gosh. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save and exit and then just log back in. Boom. And then we're back home. Okay, so those potions from the east, that's fine. Let me put away all my money, because that's something that they like to steal. Um, I wasn't ready to fight anything yet, but I guess it's fine. Um, oh, goblin, I'm gonna go here. Um, okay, now I'm gonna try to get away- oh gosh. I was gonna say I was gonna try to get away from them by going to a boss arena because I really don't want any of our guys. To die. Let me go. Gosh, I knew he was gonna attack, but uh -huh, I'm an archer too. I think I think all the beef behind him. Which, if you had money on your person, they would steal it from you. Okay. I'm almost to a uh, boss arena, which I guess would come in handy for this event as well. I'm gonna put those. Okay. Now I just need to wait for them to follow me. So the message said they were coming in from the east. Oh gosh. You, um, Okay, so now I just need to- oh! Well, that's sad. I guess we have to stay near home base? Well, I was kind of disappointed. I was looking for a fight. Um, maybe if I go back closer to the home base, it'll spawn again? Because now I'm quite sad. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna have to Google that. I did not know- oh! Speak of the devil. I guess I'll just stay here then. I wanted to be- Further away from my NPCs just because I didn't want them to take any damage, but luckily they always respawn. Okay, where are the goblins? I hear them. See, look, now they're inside my houses and it's just rude of them. Oh gosh, can they not open doors, but can they open doors? so bad since my bird can push them away from me for the most part. I was gonna use a health potion but I'll oh, just die. So I'm not really talking that much. I guess I should be um, commentating a little bit more to make this more interesting than me just attacking these guys. Um, yeah, I guess my there's not really a strategy, especially um, for the goblin army. Uh, for the Santa, is it Santa's army or something like that? You might want to have a little bit more strategy, or just because the mobs are a little bit harder. But for this one, I kind of just 
Oh gosh, I was gonna use a recall potion, but I don't have one. Because I've got to bring one. Uh, but yeah, so there's not really a strategy for this. I kind of just attack, try to attack the long range ones, and then focus on the thieves kind of last, just because they're quite squishy. Okay. Ooh. Hello, nurse. Heal. And now I'm back in battle. So we've cleared about a third of it, which is quite nice. Oh gosh. You know, I probably should have grabbed more um, recall potions just to allow me to come back. I guess if I go, if I drop below like 100, I'll put it my way back just so I can um, heal up with the nurse. What's nice is that every time you kill a guy, you do get some hearts. Oh gosh, I'm not gonna go over there. There's too many archers. Since I'm over here, I'll heal up. One of the um, achievements is spending, I don't really know how much money, but a lot of money on the gold. On the gold. On the nurse. Um, so I'm trying to get that achievement by um, using her services as much as possible. That's a lot of archers. Not jumping as much as I should be. Oop, and I'm getting quite low, so let me just. Oop. Oop. Nice. Oop. So about 60%, um, which is quite nice. Oop. I really need more um, magic weapons or something that can attack these archers because they're rather annoying. Me. Yeah, these guys are kind of just tank, and then I guess the thieves are kind of like waves if you guys play D&D. &D. Um, they're rather squishy because they don't have too much uh, damage. Also, my boat was stuck this whole time. Yeah, I definitely need stronger weapons. These aren't killing these guys as fast as I would like them to. Oh gosh. Oh, they were attacking our guide. That's rather rude of them. Um, so yeah, we're about 70% of the way through. We're doing pretty well. Oh gosh, can you guys stay away from our guide? I wish there was a way to heal NPCs. I'm not really sure if there is. Yeah, we're doing quite well. We're about three fourths the way done. And it seems like the battle is now mostly over here. What's a goblin peon? I guess I, that's even worse than the thieves. Um, Oh god, please don't push me. Why can't I make that jump? <laughs> Luckily we have this area that allows me to go into my helm as well. Because I'm just gonna cook you up again. So yeah, I'm not doing that well in this fight in terms of... Um, not, not... I guess it's, I'm not dying, so I'm not doing too badly. But in terms of, uh, not relying on healing. But, I mean, I'm getting the achievement, so it's fine. Plus, I'm, I'm, I already know I'm not the best PvP player, so I'm kind of used to this. Okay, we're reaching the ending stage of the invasion. The cool thing about the invasion is that you can actually summon them yourself. So, um, most of the boss events, um, you can summon... Also, wait, does this count as boss event? I don't know. But most of the boss events, you can um, either have them be triggered like five set conditions and the world just kind of spawns them for you. Or you can actually um, 
like initiate them yourself. So for the Goblin Invasion, you can actually go to the outer, I think it's the outer thirds of the world, and you can uh, see Goblin Scouts. And once you kill those Goblin Scouts, you get a Goblin Banner, and you can um, then use those banners to make a Goblin Flag that will then um, summon the army again. Oh gosh. Ooh, I'm going to die. And I died. I was trying to get a health potion, but I'm just terrible. Um, and didn't remember that I have an H. What is it? I have a hot butter heal. Well, that's quite embarrassing. And now they're just over here. See, they're like following me, even in death. I'm really glad that it doesn't matter that I died, uh, because being so close to the ending and then dying is honestly quite embarrassing. Um, and I would be sad that I have to do this all over. Again. Not because it's particularly hard. Oh, and also they've been defeated, so now I have to clean up the rest of them. But it's because it's kind of tedious, especially when you don't deal that much damage and you just have to keep grinding. It's honestly a lot of fun to summon- Oh, they broke my door! To summon um, the Goblin Army, which you can fight really well, just because um, it's pretty easy to just like kind of decimate them. Where are they going? They're not even paying attention to me. Oh gosh, okay. Um, let me just clean up these guys. And then those archers to the right. Okay. Are you guys just gonna leave or? Like, oh, the battle's almost done. Oh, my god, I'm not gonna go get it, huh? Okay. Well, this was our battle. They took all my doors. I guess I collected them, but dang, they were really quite vicious with their door grabbing. Yep, so we are all done. We just completed the goblin invasion, and honestly, that was not too bad. I'm quite sad that I died, especially because I'm pretty sure I um wouldn't have died if I had just pressed the hot bar. Oh, what did I just drink? Fudge. I think I just drank Thorn's potion. Um, yeah, which would have been helpful when I was fighting an invasion, but it's okay. We're not going to talk about that. Oh, let me collect my money. Oh, so yeah, so that was the end of this episode. I mean, it was kind of anticlimactic, kind of not. I did um, collect quite a few things. Um, we got some spiky balls, which are pretty fun. You could also- oh, whoa, I opened the beast area. I guess I will check that out in a second. But um, you can kind of like lay spiky balls on your- um, on the train when you're fighting a boss and all the like little minions will take damage, which is pretty cool too. Okay, I'm actually going to check out the beast here since I don't think I've looked at that in a while. And then I'm going to log off. Yeah, so I guess this... I don't know what this does. I think these are just like little numbers that just tell you which guy... Oh, is this what you get when you kill them? Or... What is this? Maybe it's biome you find them? I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so here's all the different things you could see. Oh, there's a bunch I haven't unlocked. Okay. I guess I really have a lot to, to do. I thought I've seen a bunch of these, but it might be just for this character or just for this world. Um, since I've definitely seen a lot more than these. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for coming along and for watching me um, play Terraria. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I am, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!